What's up everyone, Carnage here, and I'm here with a Windows stack of Mimi the Cat, Mimi Scratcher, which just came out on the Windows Store for $4.99, uh, $4.99 or regional equivalent, and it is a separate achievement list, so you can get the same achievements again. I already made a video for this on Xbox, uh, but we're going to go through and get the achievements again, an extra thousand gamer score, so... Uh, that's how th the controls again, if uh, you're playing on keyboard or with controller, I'm playing with controller. So we're going to get right into it. And all you have to do is just move the cat and try to get to the scratching board. Just like that. That's level one done. Uh, you could also use the D-pad and move things around. And there's the first achievement that I got. Clear level one. Uh, if you press A, you see the purple square around that. That means it's a, um, the hint. Use a hint if you are a little stuck. But most of these levels are pretty easy, and you don't even have to do all of them to get the 1,000. Um, I remember on the Xbox version, it took me about only a, ha only a half hour or less, maybe even 20 minutes or so. Um, and this game is, by the way, is from AFIL Games. Thanks to them for providing the code so I can showcase this and let you guys know that there's a stack out available. So if you have the Xbox and the Windows version, uh, you'll you'll have 2,000 extra, 2,000 total gamer score. And we're on level five. Oh yeah, that one I messed up, so press Y to restart. There's actually achievements to restart a bunch of times anyway, uh, which are all cumulative. You can't miss any, any achievements in this game. Uh, it's basically story-related progression and also just do things like jump on boxes a few times or restart levels a few times. And that's really all you got to do for the completion. Okay, so here we have to move it to the left first so we can move it down. Just like that. This one we can move down two times to then move it up uh, to the, I'm sorry, to the right and then up. So yeah, it's a Sokoban style game, although you're able to walk on the boxes, which changes things up a bit, uh, which is a nice little um, change that I like. And now they introduce that you can jump from one box to a, over a gap, just like that. There we go. And some more boxes and gaps. Pretty straightforward. They're just kind of teaching you that aspect of it. Also, there may not be sound or music on this video because I'm doing it, I'm recording through my um, Computer, of course, this time, not on Xbox. Now, if I jump on this, I think I can make that gap. And yeah, that's the way to do this This one. Um, I think that's the way to do this one. We might be, we might have done something wrong there. Let's try that one again. We want that one there, so we got to move this way up. And then this one down here. So that's what you do. If you press A, you see that little purple square? That's where you want the box to be. So they give you a little hint. All right. So we're moving through this way, jumping across. And this is an easy one. There we go. And then we go down this way. And then up this way, and this is another very straightforward level. There we go. Now on this level 13, I actually found it the best level to stack boxes and restart. So all you want to do is just go start the level and you, res you basically go up once and then right twice and then press Y. And you keep doing that, and you're going to get all of the 
stacking achievements as well as the restart level achievements. So we're going to grind this for a bit here, so I'll come back with more commentary after. There's a restart the level 10 times. You could also use the D-pad or analog stick, so it gives you either option. For this game, I actually am using the analog. There's reset, restart level 15 times. We do have to get to 25 times, if I remember correctly. But yeah, like I said, level 13 is the best one to do that. And there we just stacked 15 boxes for that achievement. So we're, we're working on two, uh, two things at the same time here before we move on to the last two levels that we need to do. And then actually beating the level afterwards, uh, we're going to just see what to do there. Can always put the hint on. There's the restart level 25 times. Now we can take a quick look at the achievements here. I'm going to take a quick look and just see uh, what I'm missing. And it says clear level 15 and stack 25 boxes. So we're going to continue stacking boxes. Oh, I stacked it and then restart level. So still need to restart the level so you can stack the box. There we go. Just got the stack 25. And now we want to move these over, but we can't. So we're going to have to figure out another way to do that. Let's see if I could do that by pushing it that way up. And then this one. And now we can make a little staircase for ourselves and get to the exit. Level 14. Okay, for this one, they want us to push it up that way, of course. That's how to get to the exit, but we need a different block. So what we're going to do is push this up, jump across, and then we are going to climb onto this one or stack it. Uh, let's see, we're not going to do that. Um, no, that was wrong. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we have to figure this one out a little bit more. I don't really want to stack it yet. Yeah, we can't do anything like that. <clears throat> we can jump on top of that and move it that way. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do before. So let's move that there. And then move this one. No, we messed up because we can't. Yeah, we have to move this one up here and then across. And then move it up that way and stack the boxes here. No, we can't do that either. Um, let's see. I, you know, I did this easier in the Xbox version last time. If I jump on top of it from there, I can do it. Okay, I see what I can do, I think. Hmm. Not quite. Maybe if I move this one up. Yeah, we can't. 
Hmm. Let's see. If I move that one first. That might be the trick. Possibly. If I move down that way, I can I can stack that one and that one. Yeah, this might be the right way. I just have to make sure I go around this way and make the step. There we go. So, uh, yeah, it took a little longer. Sorry about that. But we made it, and there we go. This should be completing level 15 and getting your full 1,000 gamer score. Or is this level 15? Okay, we have to still do one more level here. We need to stack more boxes. All right, so let's see. Can't go that way. Might be able to go that way here. No, we, we can't stack that one there. We need to have it there. Let's see. Um, hmm. We can't get around that way. And that won't work either. That's a little tricky. So we need to get it on that side. Hmm. And we can't get through there now. So that's not gonna work. You know, I did these faster on the Xbox version for some reason. I don't know what happened. I need to climb on top of one of them here. Let's see. Um, let's find out here how we, how we can do this. Um, If I push that up, yeah, there's no way to get to it there. Oh, wait a minute. There might be. Yeah, there we go. That's all we had to do. Okay, well, th now we're finally done. Got our 1,000 gamer score in just a second after beating this level. So you only need to clear 15 levels. And there we go. That's the completion. Uh, I took a little longer this time, sorry about that, but um, you guys will know how to do the levels now if you follow along. Um, and yeah, that's the game. Um, another stack on Windows, like I said, if there was an Xbox and a Windows version, and you can stack up and get both of them, um, they're $5 each, and it's uh, 2,000 gamer score total if you buy both of them. But yeah, guys, I'm going to um, end the video there. So thanks for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed the video and it helped. And also uh, subscribe if you haven't already. That way you get notified about my upcoming content. And yeah, see you guys next time.